Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here, and super super late, sorry, excuse me, just got off work, well actually a little while ago, went and had uh, some breakfast with the folks before they went to work, <coughs> <coughs> and now about quarter after nine and I'm just waiting for new comic book day uh, for the shop to open at 11 um, big ass previews so this is uh, April's and then for books uh, books coming out in June number 355 got justice uh, justice league on one side and then this awesome Del Mundo artwork for uh, hammers of the, hammers of the god, that's gonna be awesome. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, some of them are just uh, some covers, I think, but we got some good stuff. The first one from Dark Horse. This looks awesome. Sword Daughter from Brian Wood. And Mac Chatter with Jose Villarubia. Elsbeth of the Island. Yeah. That looks awesome. So we've got, and I like Brian Wood a lot. Briggs Land was awesome. I hope we get more of it. The forty swords came at night and murdered the entire village, save for two people. The infant, uh, the infant Elsbeth and her grief-stricken father, Dag, G-A-D, or a D-A-G, Dag. Setting off a revenge quest that will span the width of Viking Age Europe. They find the key to repairing their damaged relationship lies in the swords they carry. Uh, ba, 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 ba. let's see. Setting off a revenge quest that will span the width of Viking Age Europe. They find the key to repairing their damaged relationship lies in the swords they carry. Okay. Brian Wood, Northlands, Massive DMZ, Mac Chatter. Oh, okay, so Mac. Oh, cool. I thought that. Yeah, okay. So, same artist for Briggs Land. That's awesome. And Lazarus. Awesome. So, I'm excited for that. What did I say? For June. <clears throat> so then we've got... This is interesting. We've got some new Alan Moore. I guess he's finishing his uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. After an epic 20-year journey through the entirety of human culture, Alan Moore and Kevin O'Neill conclude both their legendary... League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and their equally legendary comic book careers with the series spectacular fourth and final volume, The Tempest. This six-issue miniseries is a celebration of everything comics were, are, and could be. Opening simultaneously in the panic-stricken headquarters of British military intelligence, the fabled Ayesha's lost African city of Kor, K-O-R, and the doomed citadel of We, W-E. On the devastated earth of the year 2996, the dense and yet ferociously packed narrative hurdles like an express locomotive across the fictional globe. Cool. Very cool. Um, I don't know about this. This might just be... Yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know. Ah, I'm not going to read that one. This looks interesting. Uh, stellar. Some great artwork. I know that uh doesn't show up as well this way, but if you guys check it out or look it up, looks really, really good. So Stellar was taken as a child, 
and transformed into the ultimate weapon, one that could end an intergalactic war. She succeeded and everything except she succeeded at everything except finding peace. Reduced to a bounty hunter, she scours the worlds she's broken, searching for redemption. But there are <clears throat> but there are other weapons loose in the galaxy who just can't leave the war behind them. Uh, Joseph Keating Keatinge and Brett Blevins uh, on art. The artwork looks just incredible. That's half the reason. So we'll see what's going on with that. It just says series premiere. It doesn't say anything about like a mini series or anything. And then I'm going to make sure and get... <clears throat> I think she's doing all these covers maybe. But hopefully I'll be able to get the uh, Virgin Variants too. Tula Lote is doing covers for Nancy Drew. And she is one of my absolute favorites. I love her. And then, let's see, what's this one? Oh, this is cool. So we've got a uh, an anthology series from uh, Alterna, the cheap comics that have been coming out that are a dollar dollar or a dollar fifty. They've been doing a hell of a job. Uh, this is called. It came out on a Wednesday, number one. Uh, from Alterna Comics. Eric Powell did that cover. Uh, let's see. Focusing on horror, sci-fi, and fantasy, this bi-monthly ongoing double-sized anthology features the best and brightest upcoming creators. Each issue features, features stunning cover art, interviews, ongoing stories, and comic contests and previews of upcoming Alterna titles. And the best part, it comes out on a Wednesday. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, <clears throat> then, I haven't read any of these, but I love L. Torres from uh, Amigo Comics, and we've got a new volume of, it's called Nancy, Nancy in Hell, and this cover looks awesome, but uh, I'm finally going to give it a shot just because I really like L. Torres. And Ariel Olivetti is, uh, yeah, I think I've tried to get a couple of, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to assume for now that it's a her, Ariel. Ariel. All right, so let's see. Nancy in Hell, uh, number one. The wildest one in Hell and her trusty chainsaw are finally back. But it's not like you expected. After her death, Nancy awakens in Hell. A vast wasteland crossed by a single road. Absorbing those who end, uh, absorb, Jesus, sorry. A vast wasteland crossed by a single road, absorbing those who end there. Nancy just tries to survive the relentless demon, uh, the relentless demon chase, and lost in the distance, poor Lucifer keeps calling her. Alright, a couple more. Uh, this is one, uh, a new Cullen Bunn, 10 issue maxi series. But this is the one where the first issue is, uh, they're releasing it on New Comic Book Day. Or maybe, uh, maybe, I don't, actually now that I say that, uh, I'm not quite sure if it's exactly the first issue, but maybe it's like some other stuff for it. Or like a zero issue maybe. Um, so, su the spiritual successor to the critically acclaimed series, The Sixth Gun. So we've got Colin Bunn, Brian Hurt, uh, the same team uh, for that's doing da uh, The Damned. All right, so let's see. Uh, the, world, the world is thinnest at the crossroads, a mythical plane that serves as a doorway throughout the universe. It is here that a band of adventurers throughout the Wild West gather... Brought together by Gord Cantrell and Abigail Redmayne with a singular purpose. To fight back against the creatures that would endanger the, san uh, the sanctity of all creation. 
Shadow Roads. I didn't even say the name. Shadow Roads is the, uh, Shadow Roads is set in the world that remains at the conclusion of Colin Bunn, Brian Hurt, and Bill Crabtree's critically acclaimed series, The Sixth Gun. So wait a minute. So it's not, let's see, retailers, don't forget to order this alternate cover. <clears throat> so I don't know if it's exactly a, uh, if it's part of the sixth gun. I don't know. Looks really good though. I'm excited. Not sure how good that's showing up. Alright. A couple more. What are we at? Ten minutes? That's not bad. Uh, Rothick, you guys know I love, like, a lot of times we'll get, uh, these Rothick books, we'll get, like, Don McTeague or Ebass or just some amazing, amazing artists. Uh, this one looks cool. It looks like it's got some watercolor in the back. So hopefully I'll be able to get that. But... So this right here we've got uh, so long for a couple from uh, uh, Scout Comics. We're getting another volume of Long Lost. That's been really good. But this one right here, Zenober from Scout Comics. 20 years ago, dragons returned to Earth and laid waste to human civilization. In the, in the event that surviving hum, wait a minute. In the event the surviving humans named Zenober, humans so plural all humanity, are named Zenober, Claire, then a young girl lost her parents to the devastating forces, uh, to the devastating force of these primeval creatures. Today she is hell bent on avenging the death of her family. But will the skills she was taught by her foster father, the troubled ex-marine James, be enough to fight an unstoppable, an unstoppable enemy older than the earth itself? Will the knowledge of her newest ally, the young scientist Andrew, bring her even closer to her goal? And what role will the mystical, will the mysterious followers of uh, a cult of mad dragon worshippers? play in all this covers look really awesome too so that should be a good one got a Bruce Lee a life hardcover I may, may look into that but the reason I've got this one yes oh zombie clown circus huh I didn't see, I remember seeing that. Uh, we got another volume of John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction. This one is called The Standoff. They just got a little blurb about it right there. Tattersall Prison, Max Locke. The baddest of the bad. Until something from the night sky crashes into the complex, trapping cons and guards on the inside. Cops on the inside, cops on the outside, and the escapees in between. All of, all of the, wait a minute, all of the threatened, all of them, mis, uh, misspelled, all of them threatened by a hideous invader who needs to take over nice, warm human bodies. It's a hostage situation. It's a battle between species. It's the Earth's most serious standoff. Doesn't say. <clears throat> the first one was three issues. The next one that's going on right now has one more, I believe. It's eight. And uh, so I don't know what that one's going to be. And then this right here, <clears throat> the last one that I got, is uh, so Tank Girl All-Stars. And uh, Ashley Wood is going to be doing some covers. And this is freaking awesome. Look at how freaking funny that is. This is the Ashley Wood cover. She's sitting on a tank. And the barrel of the tank looks like her junk. 
And it's Putin. Look at how funny that is. I love it. Ashley Wood is one of my favorites. Tank Girl. I love her going way back to uh, Lori Petty as Tank Girl. thought that was awesome. But I hope... Uh, I don't think it'll be a uh, pain in the ass to get that uh, Ashley Wood cover. So, fingers crossed. But that's it. Those are the ones that I've got uh, marked off. I got the next previews to do. Um, I'll do that. I'll do that soon. But uh, yeah, new comic book day. Hope everybody can get to your shop. Um, Sorry I'm so late with the uh sorry I'm so late with the uh pull this video but hopefully you'll be able to see it on time if uh if, if you watch those to see what's coming out. And uh yeah, we'll leave it at that. Peace, love, and comics. God bless.